All right, so we're getting a little tricky here. Uh, now, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm introducing two of the same variable. So I have a number minus three minus the multiplication of seven and that number. So we're getting a little bit uh, more abstract here as um, I'm kind of uh, you know ramping up these problems. So again though, right here when I just said that, I just said a number, I don't know what the value of x is. Well now, the reason why we evaluate is because now what I'm doing is I'm telling you what the value of that number is. And right now I'm actually gonna use a little color here to show this. So what we do is I now I'm going to plug in the value of 10 in for our number because we now know the value of x. Instead of just saying, oh I don't know what the value is, it's a number, we now know it's equal to 10. So when I plug in a number, I like to put it in parentheses. Therefore, if anything happens, especially like multiplication, um, I know that I'm going to be you know, multiplying by my x. So here what I have now is, so here I have 10 in parentheses minus 3. Well, I don't need to continue that. So I can just rewrite that without the parentheses. Oops. <laughs> I guess I uh, didn't want to plug in 10 in for x. So that should be a 10 right there, all right? So now, by using my order of operations, I have to do my multiplication first, right? Negative 7 times 10 is a negative 70. Then I have 10 minus 3. So I have 10 minus 3 minus 70. Well, 10, remember, now using order of operations, I have to go from left to right. So 10 minus 3 is uh, negative, I'm sorry, 10 minus 3 is 7. And then 7 minus 77 is going to be a negative 63. And that's going to be my final solution.